guys so quite a few months ago on this channel i made a video called the top five worst hamster cages you could buy online if you haven't watched that video i will link it at the end of this video but that video did really really good and a lot of you guys wanted to see another one so recently i was actually on amazon doing some research for that video trying to find some pretty awful hamster cages and unfortunately it's not very hard to find bad hamster cages online but I came across one cage on Amazon that was so bad that instead of making a video about it, I wasted my money. I think it was about $25 and I actually bought it just so I could show you guys today. Before I get on with the video, I do want to mention really quick that I do have hamster merch available now. This is one of the t-shirts. You can get it in any color. I got it in light blue and I think it's so, so cute. I have that. I also have stickers and phone cases. So the link to that will be in the description if you're interested. So like I said earlier, I did find this cage on Amazon. I do just wanna say, if you are going to buy a store-bought cage or buy one online, which as you probably know, I really don't recommend because you can either get an aquarium or make a bin cage for a lot cheaper. But if you're going to buy one, please make sure you check the dimensions. Because at first glance, this looks like a decent cage. Um, it's a little like two-story cage. It comes with a wheel, a food bowl, a water bottle, and a house, all for $25. So that seems like a really good deal. But when you read the dimensions, I literally thought that the dimensions were wrong, which is why I bought it. Unfortunately, when it came, they were right. This is literally the smallest cage I've ever seen. It makes critter trails actually look pretty decent size. So without any further ado, here is the smallest hamster cage I've ever seen. So here it is. I'm not sure how small it's gonna come across on camera. Pretty soon I'm gonna get a little ruler and actually measure to see how much floor space this has. But this cage is so small. Like if you can tell on one hand, that is how small it is. It is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm sure someone's gonna end up getting scammed into buying this, except me, of course. I knew what I was buying. But it does look like a pretty decent cage, I guess, if that's what you're looking for. But when you read the dimensions, like I said, it is so small. Like, I wouldn't let anything live in here. The listing says it's for mice, dwarf hamsters, hamsters, and I think gerbils even. It does say portable cage, and I didn't see the word travel cage anywhere. I know in my last video, a lot of people said one of the cages was a travel cage. It said this was portable, but I think it's just because it has a handle on top. That way you can nicely carry it around, I guess, but I didn't see anywhere where it said travel cage. So from the wording on the listing, I think this is supposed to be a full-time cage. So technically, I guess you could say this cage is two stories because there is a little slide or ramp right here which goes up to a second story with this house this house actually comes all the way out let me see if I can show you just how tiny this is compared to like my hand so a robo hamster would probably fit in here but any bedding in here it's going to be completely full so I definitely wouldn't use this for any type of a hamster it is absolutely crazy but it is convenient because it slips right into the top the wheel is the exact same deal I don't know if you can tell I will measure this later in the video too. I think it's probably about a four inch wheel, which isn't even big enough for a robo or any type of mouse. It's so, so tiny. The construction of this cage actually isn't that bad though. Of course it's cheap plastic, but the wire and everything, it did go together pretty nice and it's actually halfway sturdy, but that's pretty much the only good thing about this because like I said, what could live in this? Okay, so I went and got a little tape measure. So now we're gonna see just how much floor space this cage actually has. As most of you probably know if you're on my channel, most people recommend a minimum of 450 square inches of floor space for a hamster. So I know that does seem like a pretty big cage to someone who hasn't done any research. But as you know, if you've had a hamster, hamsters are very active, even the little small ones. So most people say you should have 450 square inches of floor space. So with our tape measure, I'm gonna measure from the outside, which is actually a little bit more floor space than it would technically have. But we're gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. So measuring from the outside, it is six inches across. And let's see, and we'll say very generously nine. So it is nine by six inches. That is 54 square inches of floor space. So it would literally take about nine of these cages to get to the recommended amount of floor space, which there's no openings or anything on here. So even if you could connect them together, which even nine of these connected together would be awful. But even if you could, it would be just not a good idea. And let's see, I will measure the wheel from the outside just because I don't even know if I'll be able to get it out. The wheel, okay, so the wheel's about four and a half inches. I was pretty close, but it's so tiny. 54 square inches of floor space. 
Okay, so the final thing I'm going to do, just to show you guys how tiny this really is, I'm gonna go get Matilda. Don't worry, she's gonna be in here for literally the two minutes I'm filming. So she'll probably just think it's like a carrier or something. She is a Syrian hamster, so she is on the bigger size, but it'll still give you a good idea of the really just awful size of this cage. So let me go grab Matilda and put her in this cage. Okay guys, so I have Matilda in the cage. Like I said, she's gonna be in here for a minute or two. So she's just gonna think it's like a travel cage. I'm sure I'll get some comments saying it would make a good travel cage, but honestly, for about $25 or so, you would get something way better for way cheaper. So I wouldn't even recommend it for that. So here is Matilda in her new cage. As you can see, she looks like an absolute giant in there. She takes up, I would say, almost about a third of the floor space without even moving. There's no way she could get up that ramp or anything. A robo could probably get up it, like I said, but even if they could get up it, there's nowhere for them to go because it's just so tiny. So look how tiny. I've never seen Matilda look so big. She is a pretty big hamster because she's a female, but seriously, that is awful. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. I just thought it'd be kind of fun and something different just to show you guys how awful some of the cages are out there. So if you are gonna order something online, just be careful, read the dimensions, look at the reviews. Even some of the reviews can be pretty wishy-washy. So look at the dimensions and everything. Make sure you know what you're getting so you don't end up with a cage like this. If you guys did enjoy this video and you wanna see more like it in the future, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't my upcoming videos. I post every Tuesday and Friday and I'll see you guys next time.